Hi, I'm Abby and I'm a civil engineer. I'm here at the Elan Valley in Mid Wales and I'm standing at the bottom of a network of reservoirs. Uh, behind me is Cabin Koch Reservoir and it's one of six in the Elan and the Clywen Valleys. The reason that they're here is to provide drinking water to one of the largest cities in the UK, Birmingham. Welsh Water own and manage the reservoirs and they um, pass the water on to Seven Trent Water who process the water and deliver it to their customers. So why are these reservoirs here? So back in the Industrial Revolution, the population of Birmingham grew significantly. There was a demand for clean water and there were outbreaks of waterborne diseases such as typhoid and cholera. So the local water board started looking around for uh, suitable places to put some new reservoirs. The Elan and Clywen valleys were ideal locations due to the high rainfall. They have uh, approximately 1800 millimetres per year. Also the shape of the valleys, meaning that the dam construction was easier. The bedrock meant that it was uh, less permeable for seepage and also its location at a higher altitude than Birmingham, it's over 50 metres higher, meant that the water can travel over to Birmingham on gravity alone. So construction started on the dams back in 1893. It was, it's quite an inaccessible area, so they had to construct a new railroad to bring supplies up here. They even built a new village, which had um, a couple of hospitals, a school, uh, a local pub of course, and um, a bathhouse. The highest of the Elam Valley reservoirs is uh, 37 metres high and it's over 180 metres long. The reservoir itself has a fetch of over six kilometres in one direction and that's actually the Cabin Cork Reservoir just behind me. In order to get the water over to Birmingham, a new aqueduct was also constructed and this was a feat of engineering in itself. It was 118 kilometres long it had 12 siphons, a number of tunnels and aqueducts of its own. It has a gradient that has to drop between here and Birmingham of over 50 metres. So the Elan Valley system opened in 1904. It cost £6 million at the time and it used over 50,000 people in construction. The Clywen Dam was constructed a little later. It was delayed because of the First and the Second World Wars and it was opened in 1952 by Queen Elizabeth II and it was one of her first duties as a new monarch. So what have these reservoirs done for us? They've not only provided clean drinking water to Birmingham since the start of the 20th century, it's also been a fairly reliable source. The recreational benefits of the area are numerous. Visitors come just to admire the reservoirs themselves but also to do hiking, biking and fishing. There's a visitor centre and also there's a great economic benefit to the surrounding area. In terms of environmental benefits, 80% of the valley itself is a designated environmentally protected area. It's home to a range of wildlife, including internationally important numbers of red kites, peregrine falcons and merlins. So what about the future? In 50 years time, technological advances will have definitely shaped the world in a different way. But the Ulan Valley dams will still be standing. They'll still be providing clean, safe drinking water for millions of people. And the local area will still benefit from the positive economic effect that the dams and their reservoirs bring. We're looking for more young people to join the industry to provide lasting positive effects through the design and construction of civil engineering projects. Come join us.